So this is the first microphone and it is the Rode Filmmaker Wireless Lavalier Kit. And this is one of my favorite uh, wireless microphone setups and I've tried a lot of them. I've tried Ceramonix and, and, and Rode's obviously. Uh, I've tried Sony's and I've also tried uh, Sennheiser's. But if you just really want something that's just stupid easy to use, uh, no hassle, you just turn the damn things on and they pair together and they just work like they're supposed to, then the Rode's are 100% the way to go. The range is fantastic and they operate just flawlessly. And I've had them for almost two years now and never once had an issue <laughs> out of this set. So uh, I'm going to have a poll up here in the top left hand corner. So as I go through all the different uh, audio devices, you can vote for the one that you like the best up here in the corner. So let's move on to number two. So the second camera we have on my list is the Rode Video Micro. To be 100% open and honest, this is a cheap microphone. It is about $60, but it is one of my absolute favorites. It doesn't require a battery. Um, it comes with a dead cat. It comes with a shock mount. And the audio quality is just damn skippy. There's uh, a lot of other microphones that kind of sort of live in the same price range. Uh, but for me and my needs, my wants, my desires, dude, this thing meets every single one of them and uh, not to mention the price is so nice and you get so much for it uh, and usually they work really fantastic uh, with my Sony a6000 my so uh, my a6300 uh, not so much the a6000 because it doesn't have a mic in jack but uh, I use this microphone all the time let's just put it that way uh, again, I'm going to have a poll up here in the top right-hand corner. Uh, click on that if you happen to like this one better. I'm going to be as surprised as you all are with the sound test because I'm not going to hear them until I get uh, this whole footage moved over to the editing bay. So uh, I'm not going to know anything until then. I'm ready for the surprise, and let's move on to number three. Okay, so for my third and final setup that I happen to use on a pretty damn regular basis is going to be the uh, Audio-Technica AT875R and I've got it hooked up to my trusty, faithful Zoom H4n. Um, I've got the volume on this set to 50% on the line out on this. So if the audio got better when I down clicked it to 10, give this video a thumbs up for not blaring your ears out. Um, by the way, I'm also recording the entire thing using the Fuji app. Um, from my experience, getting your camera, the Fuji X-T2 to connect to your phone, is head and shoulders better than the way you have to do it on the Sony's. Uh, for that reason alone, because I do a lot of self-shooting, this thing has been awesome. And while you can't do any tap to focus or anything like that, thus far I haven't really needed to. It's just been, it's just been damn on point. So uh, again, I'm gonna have a poll up here in the right-hand corner, so you guys pick which one you all like the best. So there you have it, and there you go. We're back to the built-in microphones on the Fujifilm X-T2. So I do plan to do some more audio testing in other environments. I just wanted to see what it would sound like out here since I do so much of my shooting here in this type of environment, and I've been having some sort of odd things going on with the audio thus far, so I'm really hoping that it was just a fluke, something that I was doing wrong. Uh, but the volume that you're hearing right now uh, that I have set on the inside of the camera is 14. Uh, and everything else with all the other microphones, I literally had to set it down to one so that it wouldn't go over the negative six decibels. And there's really no decibel markings on the inside of the Fuji X-T2, so that is uh, a little bit, I don't know, it kind of sucks. They do have like a hard line, and I'm assuming that's supposed to represent negative six dB. I'm not for sure though. So without those markings, I really can't tell you. But at any rate guys, if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you end up liking the content, and don't forget to support the channel. I've got links to all that good stuff down in the description down below. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Peace.